that hits the spot. Happy Sunday, guys. It's Bex. Welcome back to another video and another TBR jar. Picks my reads for the month. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. I think it's been like two weeks. So yeah, it has been a while and I feel like I'm slacking a little bit, but I just didn't have a video planned and I had just done a couple reading vlog videos. So I just wanted to take a little break from the reading vlogs and read like books that I just wanted to read and felt like reading. So that's what I did, but I am back and I have a couple of fun video plans for the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that, but we're getting close to the end of July. So we need to pick our TBR for August. I have a couple summer prompts in here which are the pink ones. I think I have two left of those which are just I have to pick books off of my summer TBR that fit the prompt versus just the white prompts are just I can pick any book on my physical TBR and I'm doing pretty good with my summer TBR to be honest but we still have a couple that I haven't read yet that we can pick if we get those. I think I'm only gonna pick five because I have a book shopping video coming up soon and like a book haul and I'm going to be getting quite a few books that I have a feeling I might want to like pick up and read in August because they're new and it's fun to read new books. So yeah, I think we're only going to pick five which is still a lot because I'm actually pretty busy this month. It is my birthday month and my bridal shower bachelorette party month. My sister's birthday. So okay, first one. Oh, we got a pink one. Oh my gosh. Okay, a two word title. So a two word title book that was on my summer TBR. So off the top of my head, I can think of a couple. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Every book by, I was gonna say by Tara Moffey, but that's in the Shatter Me series, it was also on there. So the next book for that is, is it Defy Me or the first novella in Find Me, which is Shadow Me? Oh wait, this book should tell me on the back. Okay, this book, Defy Me, is next. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So we have Defy Me as one of them, Lady Sunshine also that I didn't get to last month. It was on my July TBR, but I didn't get to it. Do I have any on my Kindle? Yes. The Unhoneymooners I have on my Kindle. I think that's it. I feel like... In between Lady Sunshine by Amy Mason Doan and The Unhoneymooners by Christine Warren, I feel like The Unhoneymooners will maybe be like a quicker, lighthearted read. I grabbed my Kindle because I think I'm going to go with The Unhoneymooners by Christine Christina Lauren for this prompt. So that is going to be our first one. If you don't know what The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren is about, it is about this bridesmaid and groomsmen that are in a wedding and the bride and groom end up getting like sick like food poisoning or something at their wedding so they can't really go on their honeymoon and they can't get a refund or something so they pick this said bridesmaid and groomsman to go on the honeymoon in place of them and I guess the bridesmaid and groomsmen are I want to say enemies but I don't believe in that except for in a fantasy book so they don't like each other and obviously it's a romance uh, which actually I didn't say that but it's a romance and so romance stuff happens between them. It sounds super fun. Okay, now the second prompt. Do I have one or two? One or five. No way, you guys. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I want to kind of get to some of these other books too. But it's fine. <laughs> A Kindle Unlimited book. Are you freaking kidding me? The Unhoneymooners is on Kindle Unlimited. So I could have picked that one for this one and Lady Sunshine for that one. It's fine. Okay, guess we're reading a couple books on our Kindle this month. <laughs> Let's see. So like I said, I have Heartless Hunter. I have The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter. I really think that's it as far as my summer TBR books. <sighs> and I kind of am leaning towards The Summer of Broken Rules, but it's kind of similar in terms of like genre to the unhoneymooners but i could always like read one early august and one late august so i don't get burnt out on them because i don't read a ton of like contemporary romance and i have some video ideas planned for august where i'm going to be reading books which is another reason i only want to pick five so i don't really know if i'm going to have a lot of time to read a bigger fantasy book like heartless hunter so i think with that being said i'm going to go with the summer of broken rules right here this book is a young 
young adult i think it's young adult romance it says a romance novel inspired by the songs of taylor swift i love taylor swift i won't say that i'm the biggest taylor swift stan but i definitely like her and <clears throat> her songs so that's fun it says it's perfect for fans of the summer i turned pretty which i loved so meredith's family annual game of assassin at martha's vineyard during a summer wedding is the perfect chance to honor her sister's legacy and finally join the world again but when she forms an alliance with a cute groomsman she's at risk of losing both the game and her heart when meredith fox lost her sister claire 18 months ago she shut everyone out but this summer she's determined to join the world again her entire extended family is gathering for a big summer wedding and although Meredith Meredith is dateless after being unexpectedly dumb. She's excited to participate in the traditional Fox family game of Assassin that will take place during the week of wedding festivities. Claire always loved the game and Meredith is determined to honor her legacy. But when Meredith forms an Assassin alliance with the cute groomsman, she finds herself getting distracted. This is sounding pretty similar to the Unhang Manners, but it's fine. Meredith tries to focus on the game and win it for her sister, but she can't help falling for him. And as the week progresses, she realizes she's not only at risk of losing the game, but also her heart. So again, maybe I'll have to read one soon and then read one later in August. I don't know, but obviously this is also just a TBR, so I might not get to both of those. But that is the second book on our August TBR. Oh, my hand is stuck. Okay. We have no more summer prompts. I'm glad we got them all and used them all because I was just gonna take them out after August anyway. Okay, one word title. Okay, so what do we have? We have Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I don't think I have a ton. We have a legend down here by Marie Lu. Um, is that it? I'm lying. We also have Curse and Gilded by Marissa Meyer, which I always forget which one comes first, but it's a duology. And I think that's it. We have a couple two words that are like the and something. The one, the housemaid, but it doesn't count. So we're between legend, vicious, and one of these. Again, these are really big. So as I said earlier, don't know about reading a huge book this month. Let me see. I've heard things about this book over the year, years or whatever, but I've recently, I feel like seen a lot of people recommend it. So maybe it's having a resurgence, I don't know, but I feel like people love it. And it is a duology maybe. Ooh, the synopsis is short, so I'll read it. Victor and Eli started out as college roommates, brilliant, arrogant, lonely boys who recognized the same sharpness and ambition in each other. In their senior year, a shared research interest in adrenaline, near-death experiences, and seemingly supernatural events reveals an intriguing possibility that under the right conditions, someone could develop extraordinary abilities. But when their thesis moves from the academic to the experimental, things go horribly wrong. So, ooh, the, um, the chapters are really short short honestly this book sounds super interesting and again i just got it off of amazon it was on sale for prime day so i picked it up yeah i think i'm gonna go with vicious by v.e schwab i feel guilty because i've literally had the invisible life of Addie larue on my tbr for months and i haven't read it seen by the same author um but that's okay you gotta read what you're in the mood for so our third book is gonna be vicious by the e. Schwab. Let me rearrange a little bit and put this book down here so we have a little bit more room up here. Okay, fourth prompt. Book that matches my outfit. Okay, I'm wearing the basicest, most basic outfit on planet Earth, but it has flowers, my shirt, so maybe I could pick one with flowers. And it's literally black and white, and like my clip is white. So yeah, not much color going on. I just added that prompt. I thought it was super fun. So, hmm. <laughs> Off the top of my head, The Cruel Prince is like kind of white and black and like gold, which I'm not wearing any gold. Um, what color are my flowers? Blue. <laughs> summer after has white blue and black in it i want to read this because i already have two books that are like very similar like romance don't 
Do I have any books with like flowers? Not really. This was the worst outfit for this prompt, you guys. This is so dumb. I literally think the closest is Every Summer After, which like I said, I just really, I could pick it. I mean, I might read this, but I feel like I'm not gonna read all three of the like summery romance books that I will have picked. So to be fair, and because I also think this prompt is super fun, I am going to, which one is it? Let me find it. Okay, this one. I think I'm going to put it aside and put it back in for next month. I think that's what I'm deciding to do. I'm sorry, my outfit is so basic. I mean, the flowers could have been something, but I just don't have any books that match. And I want to pick books that I think I'm gonna read. I mean, that's kind of the point, so. Okay, fourth prompt again. Book published more than five years ago. Probably a good amount of these. So first, what books do I want to get to? Honestly, I really seriously need to read The Housemaid, like so bad. I was just talking to my bestie. She loves Freedom McFadden. She got a Kindle recently, so she's been just binging a bunch of Freedom McFadden books because a lot of them are on Kindle Unlimited. She really likes literally all of them. This was one of her favorites and I just have it so I feel like it should be the first Freedom McFadden book that I read. Let's see when it was published. I feel like it was probably published close all oh, only two years ago. Dang, August 2022. Okay, so that one's a no. Dang it. What else am I thinking? I feel like. Again, I just got this book, but I'm really excited to read it. The One by John Mars. Stupid sticker isn't a sticker. But I didn't realize it was a TV series. So that's exciting. When was this published? 2017, which was definitely over five years ago. So that's one of the options. I really, really need to read The Story Life of AJ Fickery. Like it's so short. I've heard great things. I've had it for a little while now. Let's check it, Let's see if it's an option even, because this would be a good book for this month specifically because it's short. Oh yeah. 10 years old. Okay, I just got this book. I've had this book. This is short. This is I'm probably more excited to read, but it's like over 400 pages. My feet are like falling asleep. I'm sorry if I keep moving them. I think I'm going to go with the story life of AJ Fickery because of the reasons I just said. So this is by Gabrielle Zevin, the same author who wrote Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Oh, look at that. It's also a major motion picture. That's fun. And she writes like lit fic. It's about this guy, AJ Fickery. He lives alone. His bookstore is experiencing the worst sales in its history. And now his prized possession, a rare collection of Poe poems has been stolen. But when a mysterious package appears at the bookstore, its unexpected arrival gives Fickery the chance to make his life over and see everything anew. One of the like little reviews on it says, this novel has humor, romance, a touch of suspense, but most of all, love. And yeah, I've just heard that it's really like moving, um, pretty funny and kind of just like heartfelt. I hope I like it. I feel like lip fic can be hit or miss for me a little bit. I liked Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, but it definitely wasn't my favorite, but I've also absolutely loved some fiction books like TJR, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love her books. So yeah, it could be a hit or miss for me, but I'm excited to find out. And again, it's just a cute little, 250 page book so let's add to that that is going to be our fourth book so one more i'm sad they're all stuck together okay most reviews on goodreads so pretty much what that means is if I go to my Goodreads physical TBR shelf and make sure it's updated, which I honestly might have to add a couple newer books to my list. And then I, I think there's a way to maybe arrange it to like most reviewed to least reviewed or something like that. So it's pretty much going to be the most popular book on here, which I'm afraid is going to be A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I obviously want to read that so bad, but I've said this in videos before, but I'm just trying to finish the Shatter Me series first and I'm getting close. I don't know why. I just feel like I need to finish Shatter Me first. I'm weird, but um, that might be the one that's the most popular, but we will see. So should I just get my laptop 
Okay, I decided to do it on my phone and just screen record. So I just did that and set up the camera again. So hopefully it's similar angle, but I just figured you'd be able to see it better that way. A Court of Thorns and Roses was technically listed first, but I don't know why, because looking at the actual number of ratings, it says right there, the second book that was listed, but that had more reviews than Akatar was actually The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And I do own this whole series. They just sit out on our like main display bookshelves. So I always forget about these and I just really want to read them. They're so short and fast paced. Like, like this book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is not even 200 pages and there are obviously like middle grade books so they're just really fast reads. So I picked this but because I have been told that you should actually read The Magician's Nephew before The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and that it's just better to read it in that order. I don't know. I'm kind of excited because I obviously know The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe story by heart. Like, I've seen the movie so many times. I don't know the story of this book, The Magician's Nephew, but because of that, I'm going to put both of them on my TBR, and hopefully I get to them, but I'm gonna read this one first, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was the most reviewed book or rated book. So this is technically the book from the prompt, but because I want to read this second, I'm going to put both of them on there, if that makes sense. It does actually give a little synopsis. I didn't know that. So it says, Narnia, where horses sometimes grow wings and talking beasts are called to life, a new world full of magic where the adventures begin. Diggory and Polly meet and become friends one cold, wet summer in London. Their lives burst into adventure when Uncle Andrew, who thinks he is a magician, sends them hurtling to somewhere else. They find their way to a new land, Narnia. But when they awaken an evil sorceress, Polly and Diggory are sent on a quest to stop her before she destroys the world they've just discovered. So I'm so excited. This one's also like just under 200 pages. So really both of these books combined make like a 400 page middle grade book. So probably gonna read these in a couple days. So I really will try to get to them. That is gonna be our fifth slash sixth book. So to recap, I'm going to rearrange a little bit first because I should have a little bit more room, even though not much because these two weren't even on my cart and I have two on my Kindle, but we'll see. Let's put this down here. And this one should fit me. There. The first book on our August TBR is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Then we have The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter. Vicious by V.E. Schwab, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin, and The Magician's Nephew in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I'm putting the prompt, book the magic of my outfit back in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like always, it was so fun to film. I'm so excited to read all these books in August, hopefully. Let me know if you've read any of them and what your thoughts were. And thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.